the world is dark and this is part 2 of python basics series and today we are going to learn about input functions so if you do if you haven't watched my previous video which was part 1 of this series i highly recommend you to watch that video first then watch this one because this video is highly linked up to that one so let's get started so in the previous video we wrote this story says 16 uh, uh, Siddharth is 16 years old loves watching sci-fi and horror movies but he did not like being 16 because every other elder calls him a kid he is a stud he's he's a stud and a cool programmer yeah yes so what if just what if I don't I want to change the name over here instead of Siddharth I want to write Tony but whatever I do it's all hard coded I don't want to hard code anything like I want my friend to sit on the computer I run the script for him and he types in the name his name and it prints his name into the story instead of Siddharth let's say if he wants to print Tony it gets printed instead of Siddharth how am I, how am I supposed to do that so Python gives us a beautiful way to do this. We have input functions. As the name suggests, it helps you to take in the input from the user. So in this case, we have x as a variable, and, and we are declaring this input function into that variable. You just get, why am I doing this? Uh, why am I declaring x uh, first? Uh, sorry, why am I taking, uh, uh, sorry, I'm very sorry for this. Kind of mess. Sorry. Why am I declaring this input function in this x variable? Why am I not doing it directly, just like this? It's still gonna work, isn't it? Yes, it is. But what if I wanna process this? I wanna I wanna manipulate uh, the things I type into this input function. So we need to store into this variable. So input function helps you to take input from the user and by simply typing input in, sorry input parentheses helps you to declare the input function and tells Python that the user wants to take input as a user wants to feed in an input to the script run here so it doesn't matter if you put single quotes, uh, sorry, double quotes, or single quotes into this parentheses, or just leave it alone, just like that. It doesn't matter at all. So let's try to manipulate this. So print x plus sorry uh, x is my very good friend okay let's see what do we get using this let's say Jack Sparrow Captain America he's my favorite character actually Captain America Captain America is my very good friend see so this is the magic of input it helps you to feed in the input from the user to the script you try to run or you have declared the input function in whatever script you have declared the input function in so, so the conclusion comes is come on say it input function helps the user to feed in the data he tries to put into the script he is running not the script or any program but it's kind of a helpful but for prototyping your algorithm or visualizing the algorithm you try to type you're trying to create so let's just see another example related to this so name equals to input uh, parentheses name so yeah this is a very good example so in the previous example we just saw an empty box there's nothing written in front of it how my users gonna know users are gonna know what to type into this there's nothing, there's no hint into it. So let's just try to put name into this. Then run it. Invalid syntax. So to give a title to your input function box, you just give us, you just code it inside of these double codes. 
I'll try and run that again. See, it gets titled to the input box, and now my user know what they what they have to type in here. If I hit enter, so that is my very good friend. Same goes over here. So I'm taking three fields. I'm declaring three variables, and these three variables are going to take three fields. One is going to be the name. Second, the age. Third, the genre. And these all values will be will be feeded into this story. So whatever I type in in here will get printed inside of this story. Let's try run this. Let's say we are going to let's say we are um, Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack Sparrow. Even he is my favorite character, Jack Sparrow. Age, 25, genre, um, action, I guess? Captain Jack Sparrow is 25 years old, loves watching action movies, and you can read the, read the, uh, read the rest. And let's try to type something else instead of Captain Jack Sparrow. Let's say Siddharth, which is my name. Siddharth is 16 years old, loves watching action and horror. Movies. So that is 16 years old. Loves watching action and horror movies. Movies. Okay, that my bad. But he did not like being 16 because every other elder calls him a kid. He's a real stud. So this is the magic of input function. It helps the user to take the input and process that input according to you. So that was all it about this video. So the conclusion comes out of this video was input functions is just one. Input function helps the user to feed the data they want they wish to feed into the script you are trying to run in front of them or you provide to them. That's to say I'm not running the script, my friend's is running the script and he was to enter his name instead of Siddharth or any other name. Let's say Alex. Want type his age? He's 18 years old, and his genre. He loves romantic movies. Romantic movies. So Alex is 18 years old and loves watching romantic movies. See, this is the power of input. Helps the user to feed in their data into this. So that was all it about today's video, and I'm gonna watch uh, sorry I'm gonna meet you again in another video which is going to be part three until time take care stay safe it's corona out there and subscribe to my youtube channel and slap that like button and connect sleep tight Dr. Chaudhary signing out